All right, um, my name is Arik and this is Philip, and we're going to be checking out some issues using astrology, healing, uh, in regards to sweating. So Philip has shared with me one of his goals is to uh, stop sweating. Oh, and by the way, from the last uh, video we did earlier, you can find it in my library, we worked on sleep issues, and since then your sleep is... Good. good. No, no problem sleeping whatsoever. So awesome. Book your appointment. Link in the description below. Um, but today, now we're working on sweating. And the thing is, that's really interesting is that when we are, uh, let me just check one thing really quick. Hold on. Uh, okay, to edit that out. Okay, so the interesting thing is that when we're working on layers, different layers to our being, sometimes symptoms can come up and that's really cool and that's amazing and then they're, they're underlying of each layer. So each layer that you resolve then a new issue will come and this happens also in spiritual work, physical work, all kinds of things. But as it's decomposing these layers, it's actually restructuring our being. So just, you know, keep that in mind on your healing journey so that you're not saying, oh, why does this keep going? Why does this keep going on? That's just the nature of life. And when that stops, then you might be dead. Although even after that, there are different layers you need to go through. So we're just going to check and see. Okay. Um, so now, Philip, say, just bring this right up and say health is good. Health is good. Okay. Ah, yeah. Okay. So... As you can see, so we, we know where uh, Philip's chiron point is, and chiron point is not holding. So when the chiron point is not holding, that means that other things can kind of creep in. So the healing things that we're doing can leak out. So that's the first thing we need to do is reseal the chiron point in a session. So I believe it's, it's on the back of your neck, right? So just hold your finger there and say health is good a little bit. Okay, and so I'm just going to help program this in. Okay. And I believe your oil is detox, right? Mm hmm Mm-hmm. So we want to make sure that we're doing that uh, often, especially when we have health goals involved. Okay. So let's check again. And health is good? Health is good. Better. Hold it a little bit longer in the back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By the way, this, we're, we are recording our first time from the, from the astrology lab, my new office, so it's really exciting. Mm -hmm. Moving in still a little bit, so it's a little bit chaotic. Health is good. Health is good. So I'm giving a talk about this in Moscow at a big uh, kinesiology conference. It's just really an important thing. It's just so simple to mix into your modalities. It doesn't matter what kind of therapy you're doing. Talk therapy, physical therapy, it doesn't matter. Okay. And health is good? Health is good. Perfect. So. I have, so now health is good. I use essential oils because it's just quicker, you know. Uh, you can, everybody's different, but in this case, I was just programming it in, uh, hitting certain astro acupoints that's going to help program that in. So, um, now because they're sweating, sweating tells me right away that there's a, um, there's an imbalance with one of the four fundamental or four primordial elements in the body. And so we're going to just check it out and see which one it is. So in relation to the sweating, okay, yeah. Okay, so there's, the, there's an imbalance with the sweating. Now, I don't know if you know this or not, but bodies are like computers that you may or may not know. But then if, I am, if I'm using kinesiology and I'm, and I'm just using what's called the indicator muscle, just hold that. Okay, good. Now, that's just, that's called giving me a hold in the clear. That's great and everything. But there are different mudras that I can make with my hands, okay? So I have different astrological mudras that you can do or elemental mudras. And if I hold a certain mudra in my hand, 
then this is holding in the clear. When I hold that mudra, right? Okay, then when there's a, what's called a change, like then it goes down, that means that in the file of in the computer of Philip that I need to go into that file. So that's kind of how that works and, and that's just a very simple way of explaining it and that's basically all it is. Um, now I can use the astrological chart from Philip to see which element is a little bit imbalanced and I can check those elements because I have different uh, hand mudras. So let's see here. So we see. Um, so let's just go back into the relation of the sweating because it could be fire or water. Okay. Good. So let's just check here. Fire. Okay. So the element that's coming up is fire. No surprise there. So like heat's building up. Now, this, you said that this was long, it's not just in the summer, because we're in the summer here in the Northern Hemisphere, and it's really hot, it's like 35 degrees Celsius, I don't even know how hot that is in Fahrenheit, but it's really hot outside, but it's not just in the summer, it's... No, it's even in the winter. Okay, it's even in the winter, okay, so it's just sweating, so this is internal heat, so I have a different list of qualities of fire as per the DASH system. So we're doing basically an elemental balance here, an element balance. So these are these that's the typical fire signs. You have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. These are the fire signs. It's also connected to the wands from the Arcana. Okay. Sorry. So this is a fire imbalance. So I'm just getting to see which quality of fire Okay, anything else? And so I, I check, is there anything else? No. So what comes up is forcing things. So if you think of fire, the, the, the energy of fire, it tries to force things that just really shouldn't be. So it could be, now one of the good qualities of fire is, is pushing oneself and really having the energy to go through and do things. And that, that's really all great and everything. But if we are trying to force things, which is very different than power, okay? Being empowered is trying to do things from a state of um, confidence and certainty where force is usually coming from a place of doubt and ego, trying to get your way with things. So it could be that you're trying to force more time or trying to force yourself to have more energy. I mean, see, I can check these things and I can also look in the chart. So, aha, so it's connected to the ascendant. Your ascendant is a fire sign. It's, it's uh, Sagittarius. Now this is really interesting actually because the, the ascendant is the aura, okay? And the aura, it's almost like the aura is on fire, okay? It's, it's, it's almost like the aura is on fire and it's sweating. So it could be like the, the, the image that I'm getting, see this is where you can start to use your own interpreting skills, is, but like the image I'm getting is like a puzzle piece that you try to put into a place that it doesn't belong there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Does this make sense? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> cool. Um, so let's see here. Do we need anything else? No. Okay. No? So it's about forcing things. So now we're going to check and see, are we ready to balance this out? No. Okay. Yes. Let's just check the current point. I like to check sometimes. Health is good. Health is good. Because sometimes when you're, you know, taking away those layers, then can kind of. Okay. All right. So now we're ready to balance this out. So what I'm going to do is because it's fire. Fire is like kinetic electric energy. 
I'm going to balance it out on the kinetic electric level first and I'm going to just do like a, an aura cleansing, an aura balancing with my hand, okay? So I'm going to connect with the positive energies of fire. So every different body part has its place, you know, it gives off its own aura and it's all connected. So this is just an aura cleansing. You can also just use the aura essential oil spray, but like I said, I'm still moving in. I don't have everything readily available. But like for self-care at home works great okay to the sweating hold okay so we need to do a little bit more see more of the same we need to do it again from the bottom up from the top down now we have to do the same thing again So the question is, we haven't had a bouncing in a long time. <laughs> you really see the, the, <laughs> the effects. I mean, it, you're sleeping better, that's great and everything. But there's also these other things that have been brought up that need to be addressed in a timely manner. Because, if it, because it's really interesting because before we started, one of uh, Philip's joking ideas was, Maybe he's just aging, you know, maybe it's a thing that comes with age. And I, I'm not an ageist, you know, I, I really don't, I don't believe in that, okay? Uh, we as humans used to live a lot, uh, we used to live a lot longer than we live now. The lifespan is shrinking. And I told him, I said, well, aging happens when time goes on, right? Or you could say time goes on because we don't change, we don't adapt, we're not you know, being proactive in taking care of ourselves. And then we get to this place where then this makes sense, like where then it's like a little bit later and then we have to like catch up and then force things to work, force to do things. So that's just some, something interesting to think about. Like we really wanna be present with our fire, with our energy, with our chi. Relation to the sweating, hold. And there we go. So that was in relation to the sweating Hold. Good. Now I'm just going to go through and check all the elements again. And everything is balanced. Okay. So of course, uh, I will program a crystal for Philip so he can hold that with him. And then that will, uh, the balancing that we did here is going to stay with him throughout uh, the rest of his life as long as he has it. So I hope this helps somebody uh, that you know or even you yourself. If you'd like, if you have any questions about this kind of work or want to learn about it or learn how to do it, please feel free to contact me or book an appointment if you want to uh, see what we can do in your life because the elements span all the, all the dimensions. So that's what we're working on now and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.